Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. I'm going to play a uh, Tenari story quest. Eh? Thought I'll do this right now. Uh, what was it? Volpizirda. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna do Tenari story quest. Let's see what this is about. I don't have him yet. <laughs> Withering again? Contaminated? Yeah. You mean a new withering zone? I don't know about the specifics, but I hear that strange things are happening to people who cross through that region. The Avidia Forest inhabitants won't leave their homes so easily. If we allow this contaminated region to expand, the consequences could be unimaginable. That's why I want to ask you to investigate the situation. Even if all you can do is stop the contamination from spreading, that will still save many people. This is forest business. Hmm. Maybe Tainari will know something. Let's go find him! Okay. The unanswerable problems. Okay, we're going back to Gandharvaville, yep. Still remember the way. This is where you've been, Tiny? Hmm. That's this time it's not Kali. <laughs> Someone Shut your else. Voice down. Yara. Everything's spinning. Am I going to die? <laughs> tell mom that I should have listened to her. Oh no. And tell Sura that I'm Elizabeth. sorry for breaking her toy. I didn't tell her because I was scared mm. that she wouldn't play with me anymore. Tainari, I heard that people turn into birds after they die. Is that true? I feel like I'm... Getting lighter. What happened? Tainari, is he? Okay, okay, enough nonsense. Hmm? Enough nonsense. You just have a small fever. Take your medication and rest. You'll be bouncing off the walls in no time. Really? Really, I thought it was gonna be that. <laughs> really? Then. Can you keep the thing about the toy a secret for now? No can do. You're a big kid now. Once you've recovered, go and apologize. Keeping secrets to yourself won't solve anything. Wait, is this is this just trying to come in down or? Hey, let me ask you something. I recall that you're usually pretty healthy. How did you get this sick all of a sudden? I don't know either. Mom's been telling me not to play in the forest. I just wanted to look inside. It's different from before. I got lost and went around in a huge circle. After I got out, I I started feeling dizzy. Mm. Could it be? The contaminated region. Hmm. So that's how this whole mess happened. Anyway, go rest. No running around until I say so, got it? Traveler, Paimon. Let's step out for now. Okay. Mr. Forest Watcher, how is my son? I gave him some antipyretics. 
Let him rest here for a while. I told him that he would feel better after some medicine and rest, but yeah, that's what I, thought. I only said that to comfort okay, him. I... <laughs> His symptoms resemble a fever, but something else is causing them. Resemble they a seem fever. more akin to a disruption in his psyche. Antipyretics won't be of much use. What do we do? Mr. Forest Watcher, you have to help him. If memory serves, a plant called the Sunti grass can help soothe the mind. A small number grow in arid deserts. They usually look like shriveled weeds, but can be revitalized with a splash of water. They're expensive and unable to grow in the Avidya Forest's climate, so I don't have any on hand. I'll ask the caravans. Go find Kale, have her prepare medicinal tools, and a set of traveling gear for me. All right. Thank you. Oh, man. Contaminated region, huh? Yep. Is that why you two are also here? Yep. Is it a new withering zone? Doesn't seem like one. No, it's Whether not. Whether you look at scale, internal conditions, or resultant effects, they're completely different. The only thing they have in common is that they aren't welcome. This nuisance made itself home in the Avidya forest, so I can't turn a blind eye. We feel the same way. All right. Let's contact the caravans first and purchase some Vasanti grass. We can also ask about the contaminated region. There's no time to waste. We have to move quickly. Let's go. Okay. Buy Vasanti grass. From a traveling merchant. It's not Dory, right? This should be fine. Excuse me, I'd like to purchase some Vasanti grass. Do you have any? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Forest Watcher, but we've been closed for the past few days. Closed? Now that's odd. It's my first time hearing you say something like that. Uh, it's a long story. Some of our goods were stolen recently. They were mechanical parts that we got from the academia. Mechanical Although they're parts? old models, they still fetch a good price on the market. Our caravans had to pull together Mora to afford those parts. Now that they've been lost, we'll likely come up short this trip. All the merchants talked it over, and we decided to raise the prices of our remaining inventory. Until this plan takes effect, none of us can privately sell anything. I don't get it. If these goods are so important, then why not think of a way to get them back? Raising prices won't solve anything. At best, you're shoving the consequences of the robbery onto your customers. Mr. Forest Watcher, it's not that we don't want to. It's just... The thief disappeared into the deepest parts of the forest. We asked around, and apparently the forest has been very unusual as of late. Anyone who goes in experiences mental anomalies. We can't keep waiting out here for the thief to come out. All we could do is come up with another solution. How does the thief not become... So the bandit hid in the contaminated region after stealing those mechanical parts. How many people were there in total? Were they not affected hmm. by the contaminated region? That crook came from the contaminated region. As for how many, uh, there weren't any people. So it's not people then. No people? Uh, even if I tell you, you might not believe me. Uh, I'm fine. The thief oh. that stole our parts was a huge is the... mechanical crab. This is the mechanical I heard about. Yeah, that's a mechanical... Uh, to be honest, I'd rather not think about it. It moved too skillfully to be new at this. It came out of nowhere. Before we could react, it swiped our goods and ran away. We were all shocked. By the time we came to our senses, the thief was already long gone. I see. If we help you retrieve your stolen goods, then business will return to normal? Oh, but of course! Uh, not only that, but you'll become one of our caravan's VIPs <laughs> on all future purchases of any... Uh... Enough. Tell me something that's actually useful. Any leads on that mechanical crab? 
maybe one. After our goods were stolen, we specifically got someone to assess the situation. If you're interested, you can go and talk to them. All right, we'll go and have a word. Okay. Gather information. That mechanical crab is fast, strong, and a pain to deal with. Ten of us might not even be able to take that thing head on. Didn't the academia ban research on mechanical life forms years ago? Where did that thing come from? Our salaries even got slashed because of it. Ugh. Who would have thought that that robber wasn't a human, but a mechanical crab? This is rough. So far, I never heard any stories about mechanicals speak spoken by the people. Like in <laughs> I heard from the caravanners that there have been a lot of robberies lately, but we haven't been affected. We don't normally see the mechanical crab, and it doesn't disturb our daily lives. It only shows up when the caravans are here, and it runs back to the contaminated region after it's done making a mess. You haven't tried capturing it? We have, but it's too agile and fast. It's too fast. However, we did unexpectedly learn something the last time we tried to capture it. It did apparently it lives in the deepest part of the forest. So instead of immediately moving its spoils, it first hides them nearby. Once its stash grows large enough, it moves everything in one go. You'll have to move fast if you want those goods back. Hmm. A curse. After the goods were stolen, I made multiple inquiries with nearby caravans and residents. Turns out that many others have also been robbed by that crooked crab. However, the crab only seems to be interested in machinery. Doesn't even bat an eye at other valuables. Only machinery. A caravan carrying a large amount of more had an uneventful trip. Another caravan had a child whose metal toy was taken. Metal toy was taken? Wait a minute. Whatever the case, that thing is a scourge. We'll eventually think of a way to get rid of it. That sounds familiar. How are things? Did you make any progress? We learned of its behaviors, but much still remains unclear. Assuming normal operational status, mechanical constructs generally act according to their given commands. If I were its owner, I'd command it to steal more valuable things. Or the more I made. If I were its owner, so method. people can control these mechanicals. Command it to steal more valuable things. But it only goes after mechanical components. This doesn't make any sense. Right. It's really weird. So you all found a way to retrieve our goods? Do you have any more mechanical parts with you? Yes, I still have a small bag of samples. They weren't taken since I keep them on me at all times. Oh, are you planning to... Bait it, maybe? Under constant external conditions, organisms rarely initiate changes in their habits. Here's what we know so far. It has a mechanical composition, it lives in the contaminated region, mm -hmm. and it comes out to steal mechanical components. If we have said components, we can lure it out, capture it, and then make observations for further conclusions. Mm, well, chatting like this won't get us anywhere. We're only wasting time. You're right. We don't have any other options right now. This bag of samples is all yours, Mr. Forest Watcher. If you can get our goods back, the caravans will reward you generously. We don't need anything in return, but I'll be keeping this bag. I may have other uses for it later. We'll also need to borrow a Sumter Beast. Our act has to be convincing if we want the crab to fall for it. Oh, we're borrowing a Sumter Beast? Oh, yeah. No problem at all. If it means getting our things back, <laughs> you can even borrow me to do whatever you need <laughs> i'll have to decline that offer anyway we'll use the mechanical components at sumter beast to pose as a transiting caravan and lure out the crab once it appears capture it i leave the timing to you don't worry we're professionals <laughs> go to the location where the robber took place uh
Oh, there's a chest here. Uh, I'll do that later. So here. Looking at the trade routes and the contaminated region's current perimeter, the goods were likely stolen somewhere around here. Now let's get to it. We'll definitely capture that criminal crab. Okay. We'll start from here and have the Sumter Beast with the components on board lead the way. This Sumter Beast isn't familiar with us yet, so be calm and take your time with it. Don't attack us. <laughs> the Sumter Beast went ahead. Let's keep up with it. Oh, we're following the Sumter Beast. Yeah. Why did it stop? Feed the sun to this. Looks like it's loafing around. Or maybe it's hungry. The caravanners grew disheartened after. Alright, it's moving again. Alright. That's pretty running. Oh. oh, there it is. <laughs> cool little loop. There it is. Ah! Is that the mechanical crab the caravan was talking about? It's charging straight at us! That's a weird crab. It looks strong. Be careful. Oh boy, we're fighting it. Where is it? Mechanical crab. Sewed up the component. Too. Oh, it's this kind of crab. It's just like the Inazuma one. Okay. Oh, what? Hmm, it doesn't seem capable of comprehending complex questions. Keep an eye on it. I'll search around the area for the caravan's goods. So now he finds the goods that the mechanical crap steal. <sighs> I don't know why you're stealing mechanical parts, but they don't belong to you. Stolen items must be returned to their rightful owners. <laughs> Any objections? I don't think they understand this, but... from the depths of the contaminated region, right? How about you help us with something? We're actually talking to this mechanical... If you take us there, I'll give you some mechanical parts as a reward. <laughs> really? They're reacted! Yeah, does he understand? I can't be certain yet. Its excitement may be a simple programmed response upon seeing mechanical components. Okay. So you want the crag to lead us into the contaminated region? That's right. The contaminated region has a large and currently expanding perimeter, so it would be difficult to conduct a thorough search. I can't believe you're talking through the crag. If we charge straight in, we'll it's get lost like headless crack. pigeons. <laughs> also, our new friend here seems to be full of secrets. New friend, huh? I've been studying this contaminated region recently, and I have hypothesis of my own. So to be absolutely safe, it would be best to have a guide lead the way. Hyman gets it now. Um, does this scuttler understand what, what you're saying? What if this is a trap? It doesn't have to, as long as it isn't hostile towards us. I gave it some components that it will definitely take back to the contaminated region. So long as it doesn't attack us, we can simply follow along. Okay, then. It seems to be really happy. Listen to me. Wait for us here. No running off. We'll be back soon. If you're still here when we return, I'll give you another mechanical part as a reward. Understood? Looks like a yes there. 
I'm not sure, but our priorities are to retrieve the mechanical components and to purchase Vasanti grass to make medicine with. We should return, but before we do, we need to set up a few traps. Can't have that crab escaping. Yeah. No way. Give the mechanical components back to the merchant. Can we actually talk to the crab? <laughs> Well, this is some. Um, this is something new. Well done. Okay, I thought looks quite well behaved and does not intend to run away. Okay. Does not intend to run away. Oh, these are the. I guess these are the traps. Uh huh. Alright then, let's go here. It's a mechanical like a robot, so someone made it. <laughs> oh! Oh! These are the mechanical parts that were stolen! You really got them back for us! Thank you all so very much! I don't know how I can repay you! Wait, didn't you want to purchase Vasanti grass? Uh, don't worry about the price, they're on the house. How many do you need? Two is enough. No, that won't do. Here, I'll throw in some more. Uh. No need. I've already received a reward from you. Reward? You mean that bag of mechanical parts? Ah, uh, they aren't worth much compared to this merchandise. But those parts are very useful to me. Just like the Vasanti grass, I retrieved the things you needed, and you gave me what I needed in return. We're even. Oh, and before we go, just a reminder, the forest has an intricate and biodiverse ecosystem. Even if there were no mechanical crabs, other <laughs> dangers are still present. Take caution on this route. Noted. Thank you all ever so much. Let's return to the village. The earlier we can give the child medicine, the sooner he'll start feeling better. Yeah. Back to Gandalf. Oh no, back to Avidia Forest. Oh, it's the same thing. <laughs> I get confused. All right. Is that Carly? Yeah. Oh, hi there, Traveler and Paimon. Hey, Carly, see you again. Master, I prepared the pharmaceutical equipment. Do you need me to help grind the medicine? No need. A precise dosage is required this time, so I'll do it myself. Oh, okay. But once I'm done, you can deliver the medication to the child. He gets a little nervous when I'm around for too long. I don't think he finds me very approachable. I'll go prepare the medication. Traveler, give me a hand. Hmm? Polly gives it to Yara. doing a lot better and his temperature is returning to normal that's wonderful oh yeah he asked me to tell you that Suna came by earlier and he told her everything about the toy yeah I think we know what happened Suna didn't get mad so he wanted to thank you uh can I ask what happened it's nothing did you prepare the traveling gear I asked you to of course I did are you going somewhere far away yes we're going to the contaminated region Judging by its size, we will likely have to stay overnight. I'm leaving everything to you while I'm gone. Huh? But I, uh, I can't even begin to compare to you. Many things are learned by doing. And once they've been done, you'll realize they weren't as difficult as you once thought they were. Deal with problems as you yourself see fit. You don't have to emulate me. That's right! You'll do great, Kale. All right, then I'll do my best. Master, Traveler, Paimon, take care of yourselves. We'll be alright. 
You'll understand the reason for this excursion once we arrive at the contaminated region. You put too much confidence in me. Anyway, like you said, things will likely be uneventful. Let's return and find that crab. Alright. Uh, let's see the... The, the voice here, the mother is here. Carly is here. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> Alright. Asha is praying. Thank you. I feel much better now. <laughs> Okay, so to the mechanical crap again. <laughs> it's not treasure, is it? Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take this. Is the crab still here? Uh. We're here. It should be. I uh, think the crab. Where's the crab? Did it secretly scuttle away? <laughs> it's not here anymore. Traps weren't triggered, so it should still be here. Odd. Oh, it's still here. Huh. You honored our agreement and waited here until we returned. Okay. As such, I'll hold up my end and give you another mechanical part. Keep it safe. I'm not giving you another one if you lose it. Glad you're satisfied. If you want more mechanical parts, take us deeper into the contaminated region. I want to see what happened there. What caused the Avidya forest to become like this? Must be linked to, get to this. Set up for the contaminated region. Oh boy, here we go. The music suddenly... Region that everyone's been talking about. Oh, it definitely looks different from normal. It's like really creepy and suffocating. Do you feel unwell at all? So Good. Far, okay. It's as I predicted. Elemental power confers a degree of resistance against the contaminated region's influence. How do you know that? I haven't entered the contaminated region for a proper investigation, but I've conducted quite a few controlled experiments. My observations during our time here have all but confirmed my hypothesis. Look at these flowers. How are they different from normal? Mmm, brighter? This flower species is formerly Sumeru known rose, as the yeah. Sumeru Rose, but it is also known as the Ley Line Lodestar. Ley Line Lodestar. They're sensitive to ley lines and emit varying amounts of light in response. Excessive brightness indicates a dangerous level of ley line activity in the surrounding area. Okay. From the looks of things, the ley lines around here are already out of control. It's always ley lines. <laughs> You're saying the contamination here is coming from ley lines? I can't confirm that right now, but I think that is the case. Let's take another look around and see if we can discover more clues. Alright, let's see. Strange Sumeru Rose. Can I take it? Okay. Another string, yep. You know, we haven't seen any animals this entire time. Mm -hmm. The birds used to chirp really loudly, and there were a lot of foxes. This contaminated region currently appears to have a critical efflux of ley line energy. Which is probably the root cause of the patient's cognitive disturbances. Some animals have keen awareness. They 
they sensed something abnormal in this area and fled. A leaky ley line sure can cause a lot of damage, huh? Like how plants have preferred growth conditions, we also gradually habituate to our surrounding environment. Climate, temperature, humidity, intensity of ley line energies. When people live under fixed conditions, they reach a sort of homeostasis with their environment. This equilibrium is broken when the surrounding environment abruptly changes, mm -hmm. causing people's bodies to react in abnormal ways. If normal fluctuations in temperature occur, then our bodies automatically adjust. However, Just the like average person <laughs> cannot adapt to changes in ley line energy, and so they fall ill. Average person cannot adapt. Okay. And why are we okay? Because we have Elemental powers? Wait, Paimon? I'm not sure why you are, but he and I are fine because our elemental capabilities allow us to adapt to this yeah, kind of Paimon. change. Not sure why Paimon is also fine. Of course, it's not a good idea to spend too much time in areas with concentrated ley line energy. The only one who can freely traverse this place is probably the mechanical crab. Because it's a mechanical. <laughs> That's about it for the investigation. Help me find an open space. I want to test something. Install a purification device. More strange scenarios. Yep. Yeah. Environment. No wind. Target parameters, normal. Setup complete. Excellent. Looks like it's working. What's this? A purification device that I made. It can absorb excess ley line energy and temporarily stabilize an area. What a neat thing! Let's set up more and cover the entire region! I wouldn't mind if that would actually work. Unfortunately, once this contamination is present, it isn't something that a few purification devices can fix. The purification devices have their limits. At best, they can only prevent the contaminated region from expanding temporarily. If we want to permanently eradicate the contamination from the ley line effluence, we'll need to tackle the source. That's right. Oh, oh it's blocking. Is something coming? Huh? The mechanical crab is acting a little strange. Something's approaching. Hmm, something's coming. Oh, the crocodiles. So that's it. Now that the ley line energy has stabilized, the monsters that had left are starting to return. Okay. Get rid of them quickly. Don't let them get close to the purification device. Yeah, to protect. It's a machine unit. Okay. Busted. That's all of them. Oh, wait. Those are mechanicals too. Is it its friends or? Hey, where are you? Wait for us. Probably its friends. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. We'll see. The mechanical crab went that way. Let's keep up. Just so. Uh, help! Help! Okay, we are fighting these. Because they're not friends. <laughs> Let's see, just so. Uh... Spare me! Please spare me! Hey, are you okay? What are you doing here? These injuries are superficial. Don't move, I'll patch you up. <laughs> Who are you all? What happened to those mechanical monsters? Um, 
we defeated them, but we have one with us too. <laughs> Don't worry, we took care of them. Oh, good. <laughs> That's uh, good. Um. Uh, it's a monster! <laughs> Hurry, attack it! How do we explain this? <laughs> How do we explain here this? Isn't a bad guy. It heard you shouting for help and brought us here to rescue you. Mm. It's faking it. It has to be. Maybe it's gonna partner up with the other mechanical monsters and kill me. Do you know what's inside the forest? It's all. It's, it's all crawling with mechanical freaks. Oh, mostly mechanical stuff. I just came here to pick herbs, but I accidentally went to the contaminated region and almost died. Oh. Uh, accidentally. Uh, I gotta get out of here. Oh, yes. Yes. I have to escape. You look sus, Jessa. Be careful. These mechanical life forms are up to no good. It'd be best if you stayed far, far away from them. Uh, no wonder the Academia wanted to completely ban the existence of mechanical life forms. Uh, those things should be annihilated! Uh, are you okay? His inarticulate speech and bodily tremors indicate psyche disruption. He's been inside the contaminated region for too long. Okay. We've purified that's why. the ley line energy over there. Follow this path out and you'll soon see the village. <laughs> At that point, someone will bring him to Kale for help. I already prepared medication that will return him to normal. Is he expecting something? Oh, uh, maybe he wants another mechanical part, I think. Hmm. So you think you did a good job and want a part as your reward? <laughs> it's so hard to understand. Alright, regardless of what you're thinking, you did some real good this time. That's why I'll give you another mechanical part. Need any help with it? No. <laughs> yeah, she said no. Guess not. <laughs> well, make sure to hang on to it. <sighs> what was going through your owner's mind when he made you, I wonder? You're like a giant mechanical crab on the outside and a fluffy <laughs> little hamster on the inside. And also... How do you feel about that person saying that you're as evil as the other mechanical life forms? Hmm. Okay, it definitely doesn't understand you. It seems like it possesses limited understanding only towards matters related to mechanical components. Help others to get parts. That's probably its thought process. As for why it, or rather its owner, is collecting so many components, I'm not sure. It's getting late. So let's set up camp for the night. We'll explore further tomorrow. After a night's rest. Look for a spot to set up a tent. Oh yeah, just now. Hey! Over here! Where? Come on, you big lummox. Raise your head and look up! Okay. <laughs> it's like... Is she... Uh, that you hurt me, what the hell? It's actually is here. Holy shit. Let's set up camp here. Alright, Paimon also thinks it's a good spot. Oh, any particular reason? This place is perfect to put up a big tent. We can also set up a cooking pot and cook tons of delicious food. <laughs> Paimon reason. You're not wrong. But the primary reason for choosing this place is because its higher elevation keeps us away from the water vapor below. Rainforests are very wet. You should always be careful when spending the night in damp places. For the next tasks at hand, let's divide and conquer. I'll set up the tent, you'll be in charge of making the fire, <laughs> and Paimon will forage for edibles nearby. Leave it to Paimon! Paimon's a pro! I'm not expecting that much. <laughs> Just do what you can. Okay, we start a fire. Just so it That's rain. right. You can use rushes to start a fire in the wilderness. Their pits are relatively dry and can be readily set aflame. 
The downside is that they produce a lot of smoke. Traveler, Tainari, Paimon couldn't find any food. Yeah, we're in a contaminated region. Those were probably dead leaf butterflies. They camouflage as dead leaves to evade predators. My guess is that they mistook you for a bird when you flew over. <laughs> so they fled. <laughs> Little did they know that you were more scared than they were. Never mind. The tent's up, so you two go rest. I'll forage for food. Oh. Oh, you found some already. What? <laughs> it's more useful than buying one. <laughs> Sorry, no part this time. Eh? <laughs> that task wasn't important enough. If every little thing resulted in a reward, then it might start to take advantage of the system. I'll note little things like this and give a cumulative reward at a later time. Are you running low on parts? Yeah, probably that. <clears throat> that is one reason. <laughs> it looks really just do one part. After some further thought, it might come up with some weird misunderstanding if I don't give it something. All right, here's another for you. <laughs> I'm off to prepare dinner. We'll take shifts on lookout duty tonight. You two can sleep first. I'll wake you up later. We need lookouts? Yes. Even though most animals fled because of the ley lines, we can't completely let down our guard. It's settled then. I'll set up some pest repelling devices so poisonous insects don't come crawling into the tent. Have a good night. Not too good though. <laughs> Can we get the crab as our ally? <laughs> like we use the crab or something. Uh, go into the tent to rest. Okay, hold on. Hmm? You're still awake. Is the crab here? Oh, why is the crab not here? Do I need to cook anything? No, no. Alright, let's press. Okay. This is the next day, so I got seen. Hmm? You're awake earlier than I expected. Did you sleep well? It's not a cut scene. That's good. I was worried that you two wouldn't be able to sleep, so I specially used two of my homemade incenses. Don't worry. They're made from all natural ingredients. They have a light fragrance and aren't harmful to the body. Speaking of which, have you seen the crab? Um, I didn't it see it. It was scampering around over there just now, but I don't know where it went. So you can tell. My suspicion is less towards the crab and more directed to its unrevealed owner. A ley line effluence of this magnitude occurred without any warning. Someone probably disrupted the natural flow of the ley lines. Until we fully mm. understand the situation, take extra caution. The academia has banned mechanical life form research for years, so the origin of these creatures is very suspect. I see. The academia previously conducted research. Yeah, so previously they have conducted. Topics related to mechanical life forms were popular in the Spontama for a time. Some of my juniors had also thrown themselves into such research. They proposed an intriguing idea. Use our knowledge to create a new and practical life form that could help humanity conquer nature. However, 
no matter which modules or parts are installed, a machine is innately a construct that receives and executes commands. They can never possess self-awareness like us or other living organisms. What about this In their pursuit crap. to discover the differences between mechanical and biological life forms, zealous researchers performed unregulated vivisections and other absurdly cruel experiments on animals. Research on mechanical life forms was thus banned. So that's the irony is that the researchers became even more impetuous afterward. Who knows? Maybe this subject will be unbanned in a few years. Hmm. That's a difficult question to answer. I'm interested in the topic of mechanical life, but I don't like the researchers' attitudes. Anything in particular or because the conquest of nature? It's just my personal opinion. My ancestors and oh, the Maluka the Shuna of the <laughs> desert coexisted <laughs> together and supported one another. The blood of my people were born from this symbiotic relationship. So to me, all life is important. To understand life, you must first respect it. Life is not an expendable commodity, and knowledge should not be wielded like a scepter. These are the points of contention I have with some researchers, and why I Ooh. left the academia. By placing yourself above other life forms, what kind of results do you expect to get from researching pure life with impure intentions? Can you really? <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, it's back. <laughs> Did you prepare this for us? Did you just make coffee? What the heck? You want to reward again. Alright. Seeing that you're working so hard to help out, <laughs> I'll give you another part. You're not planning on using it. Many of your own parts are critically degraded, and you're running low on power. Hmm? Alright. Suit yourself. Oh, and thanks for the coffee, but I'm about to go to sleep. Leave it with him. The night watch is yours. Stay safe. Oh, okay, so now he's going to sleep. In it. Wait, I'm gonna be on night watch. And it's daytime. Oh, sorry. Paimon slept through the entire night. Your punishment is so low watch duty. <laughs> Traveler and Paimon. Mm. Quick question. Do you feel off at all? A little dizzy? Mm, me too. The farther in we go, the closer we get to the source of the ley line effluence. We'll be heading out earlier today. I'll take down the tent. Is there something we can do? Extinguish our fire so we don't set the entire forest aflame. Watch the me mechanical do it. <laughs> also, Retrieve the pest repelling devices from last night. We don't want to affect the ecosystem here. Pest repelling, uh. Got it! Hi, Mom will take care of the fire! Alright. Let's meet back here later. Okay, so we're doing ourselves in. Retrieve the pest repelling devices. So, uh... Guess it'll have to wait until we return. Hmm? I also just remembered that I forgot to apply essential oil to my tail. You probably noticed that it isn't as glossy as usual. Eh? No. <laughs> Perhaps one night doesn't make too much of a difference. I'll make a new blend when we get back. It should make up for last night. I should have some leftover herbs from last month. Mm hmm. And Paimon? How do you put out a fire? Really? You want me to do it? There we go. Alright, now that the fire's out, we just need to pack up the cooking pot. <laughs> Good thing I <laughs> did that. Okay, uh, retreat the past. Oh, yeah, these two. Wow, I'm liking this story so far. Prepare to set off. Oh. Alright, it's about time to head out. As we go further in, we may encounter more berserk machines. 
the effects of the ley lines will also increase. If you're struggling, it would be wise to avoid conflict. Try to conserve as much energy as possible until we reach the source of the contamination. Okay. We're going deeper. There are mechanicals. Hmm. As I thought, the closer we get to the contamination oh, source, Jesus, more. the more mechanical monsters that appear. Oh, we have to defeat them? Okay. Busted. Let's dance. Can we have the crap purpose? Oh shit, there's more. Okay. Check the unusual area. Wait, there's roses here. Well, this is the place. It's that here. Upon closer inspection, the plants here are really different. Leyline energies are also stronger here. This may be the place we've been looking for. Ready yourselves. We're going in. Alright, let's go. Tele it's a domain. It's a domain. Well, let's go then. The contamination source. Okay. Guess I need an electro. Is it fine if I don't bring a healer? The campaign begins. And I think I get to marry you. Because I want to I wanna use Tenari. <laughs> Surely. Yes. Defeat the mechanical monsters that look cute. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Where's the double charge? It's just straight away. Oh, there. That was a double charge. Okay. Examine the strange device. Hmm? No? What is this? What is this? 
Exactly. Leyline energy is spilling out from here. This device, it's extracting energy from the ley lines without end. Who in the world would do this without considering the consequences? The ley lines won't be able to repair themselves if their flow is perpetually disrupted like this. That's terrible! We have to stop it! Oh, uh, Paimon C. Uh, oh, Paimon doesn't see controls oh, anywhere! God. So this is the thing that's making us... Standing here is equivalent to being directly showered in ley line energy, which may cause irreversible damage to your body. Take Paimon and get out of here. I'll see if I can find a way to turn this thing off. Wait, you're also vulnerable to the ley lines, right? We're staying. We can't leave you here by yourself. <sighs> then let's look for it together. If there is no control unit here, uh, then there the must be a do it for door us. somewhere. <laughs> you know where it is? Hey, oh, he broke, he broke this. Okay. Follow the mechanical crap and continue your search. Is this really damaging us? Uh, no. Any hidden chests here maybe? No? Okay. Um, I'm supposed to go back here. The chest! That's a long charge. <laughs> yeah. What's oh. this? It'll only show up if you step on it? Be careful. And watch your step. Check on the person who has collapsed. Body is cold. Is he dead? It's emaciated and his eyes are sunken, likely from chronic malnourishment and stress. He collapsed and never got back up. What exactly happened here? <sighs> Almost forgot about you. Here, this is the last one. Hmm? What is it doing? Sure. Judging by this room's layout, this place was a laboratory. We should find a repository of research documents if we keep going. The file room will definitely give us some clues, so let's go take a look. Maybe we can piece together what happened here. Okay, so... Collect documents nearby. Stands in front of the machine thinking about something. Oh, well, that's how the parts are doing. Uh... Spontama created a device that visually records experiments and consolidates the final production into a tape. However, these devices are expensive to make and aren't entirely stable. That's why they are only used in some laboratories and do not see wider usage. Come on, let's watch it! Hold on, let me figure out how to play the tape. There, let's... Ah, okay, this should do it. The projector begins to display recording Kakata? Kakata? Seriously, I look away for one second and you're gone? Yeah, so this guy is the... Yeah, this guy is the one who built the machine. Karkata. There you are! Look here, 
This is our new home. So it's Kakata. I, Abatui, will unleash my talents here and amaze those ancient fossils at the Academia. Abatui. <laughs> okay. And this machine is named Kakata. Oh? You're also quite happy. Kakata, do you know what we're about to do? <laughs> yes, I thought not. Listen up, Kakata. I'm going to make a mechanical life form that can be mass produced. The technology will be unlike anything else that exists. Make a mechanical life form mass produced. I'll use mechanical organs, and electric currents will course through them like blood. A steel cast heart that will beat forever, and a brain of myriad components that can think like mine. Inspiration from the ruins and the research that the academia had banned. I hope everything can start anew from this place. When you can understand our language and live among us, you will no longer be a boring machine, but a truly living being. It's fine. You will understand. One day, you will understand me. Uh -huh. Karkata is the mechanical crab, right? Yeah. And that researcher named Abatui said he wanted to prove research. something to the academia? I remember now. I had a junior researcher named Abatui. He was expelled from the academia for researching mechanical life forms. Oh, so that guy was your junior. Junior researcher? Yeah? Well, what's wrong? Nothing. Paimon was just wondering. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't Abatui look old older are you? than you? He is. Academic progression isn't tied to age. Oh. I finished my studies a while ago, so subsequent students oh, okay, generally considered me as their <laughs> senior. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Of course, age can be an issue. For a while, people always dragged me into pictures. I felt like some kind of animal on display. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, that isn't important. Let's go and see if we can find other tape recordings. Uh, oh, that was just one, eh? so there's two more. Yeah, that's how it was uh, shown just now. What the heck? This place, man. So I think I'm just using Tanari only to fight a bit of machines and just to walk around here. A date is written <laughs> on it. Let Paimon see. Oh, it's from a half a year ago! That's quite the time gap. I wonder what happened in between. Okay, let's see. It's rare that you malfunction because of an operational error. Malfunction? Seems that making coffee is still somewhat difficult for you. <laughs> Is there an issue with my set parameters? Yeah, so he programmed him to make coffee, that's why. <laughs> that's why he knows how to make coffee, wow. Alright, there you go. Water entered the keela and caused it to short circuit, so it couldn't receive signals from the ganglion. What's Look it? at me, talking to you like this. You can't understand me anyway, can you? <laughs> it's fine. I swapped in some new parts, so you should be alright now. Try moving around. Everything in working order? Be more careful next time. We're tight on money right now, so we don't have a lot of parts or power to spare. <laughs> I'm glad. Karkata, did you know? Yesterday, I dreamed that you could talk. Aren't the bunch at the Academia always saying things like, Mechanical intelligence is just an extension of statistics. <laughs> they were blown away when they saw us talking with each other. <laughs> Too bad it was just a dream. Forget holding a conversation with me. You're so simple that you probably wouldn't even notice if I died. Never mind. I should probably be worrying about next month's power. Uh... After Abatui left the academia, everyone lost contact with him. I thought he was so despondent that he gave up on researching mechanical life forms. Instead, he had holed up here and continued his experiments. Paimon doesn't feel like he's a bad mm. person. He even changed out Karkata's broken parts. Why would he mess with ley lines? You mentioned power. Hmm. Let's see. 
Let's keep looking around. Something happened. Oh, charging is longer than can you? Is there anything there? Uh, let me just go there first. Okay, I guess that's for later. Following the serial numbers, the next recording should be here. The writing is sloppy. Perhaps his state of mind had changed. There's also an undated tape in the wrong spot. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like Abatui put it there. Maybe Karkata helped him with sorting. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. It's hard to say. These are the last two tape recordings. Let's watch them. Let's see when is this. Uh, this is when the machine was made. Sorry, Karkata. I was just thinking about something. Today might become a special day. In my recent experiments, I successfully gave you a living being's instincts. When you're low on power, or if one of your parts is damaged, you will prioritize your survival command and proactively recharge or replace your parts. His voice, like, is about to... That is a very dangerous thing. And today, I did something even more dangerous. Yeah, something happened. I've officially activated the third generation ley line extractor. The ley lines will serve as our power source from now on. Yeah, that's their power source. Conducting something research on need... mechanical life forms requires a large amount of power. Even if I scrapped power. and saved, the more I have wouldn't last for long. I'm also getting tired, Karkata. I don't know what's driving me to continue with this research anymore. They say that even if it simulates the operation of a living creature's organs, a machine is still an ice-cold tool. I want to prove them wrong. I want to turn you into a living, breathing, and talking being. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about anything cheerful, Karkata. Modules for language, emotion, and movement. I've been working my absolute hardest to augment and refine your functionalities, but I've never seen an effective response. You are my finest success, but even you can't understand me. All you can do is execute limited responses based on preset commands or keywords. This is Karkata, I wish you could speak to me, even just once. <sighs> yes. You cannot understand me, so you cannot answer me either. It is what it is. In a few days, well, I'll sell the failed ley line extractor in, uh, for some with more and continue my experiments. Yeah, he does understand. Life goes on, and I have to as well. I don't have any other choice. Sell the failed ley line extractor for some more uh, and continue. Okay, so the next tip. If I place another two control modules here to simulate the brain's thalamus, oh, of course my heart decides to act up now. Why did I cut medication from our expenses? Karkata, come help me. <coughs> Strange. I feel weak. Oh no, I have to shut down the extractor. Oh, that's why? Shut it off! <coughs> if we let them recharge indefinitely, they'll... go out of control. Right. I never put a command to shut down oh, the extractor. Oh, no, that's why. So you don't understand what I'm saying. Oh, the... Karkata doesn't know what to do. In the end, it's just like the academia said. Mechanical life forms only bring danger. My research. Oh. Was there any point to it at all? I'm sorry, Kaka. 
got her. In the end, I still wasn't able to turn you into a true mechanical life. So the yeah, Leyline influence was an accident. After Abatui's unexpected death, the mechanical monsters were driven by their instincts and continuously drew so out that power from the Leyline extractor. Abatui is already dead. This eventually resulted in severe damage to the Leylines. Yeah. Paimon understands. Then why didn't Karkata go haywire like the other machines? Because Karkata is different from the other machines. Structures similar to living organisms, the ability to cry and laugh, and capacity for independent thought. To Abatui, only a machine with these features could be considered a mechanical life form. Perhaps only by building such a machine could he have the academia acknowledge his protracted research. But if he had slowed down and saw Karkata as a friend instead of an experimental product, he would have noticed. Mm. Karkata can't speak. <sighs> and yet it cares about Abatui far more than it does about itself. Yeah. What does that mean? You'll see in a bit. But before that, we have a more urgent task at hand. First, let's find the control unit for the Leyline Extractor and shut it down. So we're shutting it down, eh? Okay. Stop the ley line extractor, so we're going up there. Are there machines that we're gonna fight? No? Oh, what? What the hell? What the hell, man? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. More of this transparent flooring. It feels like a maze. Well, I'm supposed to go there. Is there anything here? What is this? Okay, it's one whole circle. So it doesn't really matter. Alright. Huh? Oh. How is this even made? No, oh, but I have to look around the whole area. Bubbles. Ha! Oh, I cannot pop them. Is it the bubbles like in the Arcon Quest Act 4? I have to avoid the bubbles. Alamak. Why? Why do you bring this again? Why do you bring the bubbles back? Alamak. Well, it's not so bad. Okay. Hold on. Is there anything here? This thing makes bubbles. Cannot destroy them. Is it? There's nothing there, right? No. Below us is the final room. The control unit is likely in there. The land's here! Hmm. Wanna try jumping down? You're jumping down. Oh. 
Oh shoot, 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 come on. Let's nip that in the butt. Ha! Did I hear that right? <laughs> Illusion shattered. The hell? Spring forth. Propagate. Gosh, one with the forest. Okay. I can't see. God. More. Is that it? Okay. This should be the control unit. Once we turn it off, the ley line extractor should also shut down. I guess that turns it off. Without an external force damaging the ley lines, they should start to slowly repair themselves. Oh, but I bet you two are more worried about Karkata. Let's head back. Oh boy. Oh, Kakata, let's see. How's it doing? Another chest. Is this where we work? Yeah. We got two again, okay. Now we know the story. So you did. He's trying to fix him. That makes so much sense now. But you can't fix just by using parts. Karkata is unable to understand the concept of death. However, it probably remembers when Abatui replaced its parts when it malfunctioned, uh. and how that restored it to an operational state. It's true that Karkata isn't able to think or understand many topics. But it is like a small child that imitates what adults do. So that's why it kept stealing mechanical parts. But it can't repair its owner, no matter how hard it tries. Yes, but the important thing is that it formed the thought of wanting to repair Abatui. Hmm. No one knows how this thought came to be, but it has even suppressed the instincts that Abatui had installed. Yeah. If it really is as we've predicted, this research truly will make waves in the academia. 
it might have been possible to achieve this with ancient technology, but no one has been able to do the same with modern wow. tools. That's actually a good. <laughs> That's a break too, but. Ah, the two is not here to see it. Not responding. It reached its limit. It hasn't recharged this entire time. Nor has it replaced its severely damaged parts. Oh, the part is out of battery. It's a miracle that it managed to hang on for so long. I'm going to confirm that the ley line extractor has shut down. Come with me. Let them be alone for a while. Mm. I can't even do a picture, god damn it. <laughs> Before you lies a non operational Kalpata and a lifeless Abitubi. He's doing this. Be nice to make his head. Oh my gosh. Okay, where are we going? Because we're leaving the area. Oh yeah, the machine. Wait. <laughs> the ley line extractor has ceased well, operations. Uh. Traces of ley line energy are still in the atmosphere, but the effluence's source has been stopped. The purification devices will handle the rest. Moving on, those affected by the ley lines need immediate care. We'll put up an announcement on the bulletin board about the dangers of entering the contaminated region, and for symptomatic individuals to find Kale. But, uh, According to the academia's policies, we need to bring everything back. Research materials related to mechanical life forms will be destroyed. And Karkata will be disassembled and sealed away. Oh no. What the heck? You two should return first. I'll take care of things here. Although we've stopped the source of the effluence, the ley line energy in the air exceeds normal values. Your bodies won't be able to hold up if you continue to stay here. Uh, but... Listen, the Traveler hasn't rested very well, right? Also, it'll take some time to pack up all the research documents. You're not familiar with this research after all, so you won't be of much use here. Tell the Adventurer's Guild that the incident has been resolved, and then get some sleep. We can discuss matters tomorrow. Okay. Oh, and don't talk about Abatui. The fewer that know about mechanical life form research, the better. All right. Then let's go back to Catherine. <sighs> really? Damn, what a place, yeah. Why are you still here? I'll take care of this. Go and report to the Adventurers Guild. And then get some rest. I still got 900 seconds. Can I go one more time? Where was it again? I don't remember it here. I still got 900 seconds. I want to go back. I don't get to go back here anyway. Oh man. Still can observe yet. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's get out of here.
Yeah, let me take this. God damn it. Can't we do anything? Then we can't go back. Talk to Catherine. for residents to resume their normal activities. This is the stipulated reward. Please accept it. Paramount takes you to five days. Is Karkata going to be sent back to the Academia? It's already damaged, but Paimon feels sad Same. thinking about it getting disassembled. Oh, then how about we find Tainari tomorrow and ask him not to do that? Is that even possible? Wait till 8 to 12 the next day. Wait. The next day though, but... Ah, do I have to wait another, another day? Hold on. I'm not sure. Lemta of him. No, no, no. Uh, I think it's already 8. So, not one more day. Ah, <laughs> like, damn it. How is this gonna end up? Genus Themeliaceae has a strong anti convulsant effect, can be made into an anesthetic powder. Extrapolating from these two data sets, it would be particularly potent against Piscine species. Hey, make sure you're getting all this down. Huh? Kakata? Kakata? Wait. Told you all to keep your voices low. Plants aren't afraid of noise, but your shouting is making my ears ring. <laughs> okay. You, you didn't disassemble Karkata? Why would I do that? But Paimon thought you said according to the academia's policies. So that's why you two barged in like barbarians at this hour. Fine. I suppose I wasn't clear enough about this yesterday. <sighs> what what is I it? meant was, according to the academia's policies, all products of research must be destroyed. That's why we can't let the academia discover that place. Uh huh. All products of research must be destroyed. 
We can't let the academia discover that place, so we'll just stay back. What's two? Anyway, the first thing I did was repair Karkata. During my time at the academia, I took an elective course at the Spantama. Who knew it would prove useful one day? We then buried Abatui together. Mm. After organizing the research materials, I kept some as a souvenir. Most of it was burned to hide the evidence. Okay. I'm not with the academia. So what do their policies have to do with me? <laughs> okay. On the other hand, I am the forest watcher of the Avidya Forest. I have a duty to protect all life in the forest. All life brought forth in this world has meaning. Kakata and Karkata is life. no exception. If it exists, then it shouldn't be carelessly abandoned or destroyed. True. <laughs> That's great! Wait, you just said life, life form. form. You recognize Karkata as a true living being now? The possibility exists, is all. It's hard to explain Karkata's efforts to repair Abatui. Abatui only left behind a small portion of his research. Who knows how many commands he installed. Maybe a conflict between all those commands resulted in this sort of behavior. From a more rigorous perspective, it is impossible to conclude that Karkata is a real life form. But the possibility exists. Uh, he's, uh... I am willing to believe in that. What's that word? God damn it, I forgot. By the way, I'm not interested in continuing research on this subject. I'm just letting it hang out here because this place is relatively secluded. <laughs> but as things stand now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make it my research assistant. At the very least, it can record my experiments. Research assistant and Alice. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, that's a good ending. Oh, that's the end. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a happy ending after all. Early photo, what? The photo that was put aside. One of the many group photos, Tenari always has the same expression, doesn't seem to be just in the pictures. What? When people at the academia included me in a group photo, they would also send me a copy. I have zero interest in group photos, but I also wouldn't just throw them away. I stored mm -hmm. them all in a box. After coming back yesterday, I looked through them and found one with Abatui. I gave it to Karkata, and it seemed happy. Uh -huh. That's good enough. That's why the group photos are here. Don't mind me. <laughs> I just need some bright wood. Okay. And the machine. Oh, that's Abatui. Tenari and Abatui. <laughs> okay. Rakata. <laughs> okay. Does it mean Kakata will always be here? I don't think so. No way Kakata is gonna be here for, for the whole. Maybe just for the ending of the story quest only. When people at the I have zero after coming back. What happens if you? Okay, nothing. <laughs> Wow, okay, what an ending. I did not expect that. Okay, so I think I'll end this video right here while I'm cut all some of some of the bright wood, don't mind me. <laughs> okay. Well No more story quests. Well this one still got a lot to do. 
And this is what I still got a lot to do, oh boy. But that's Tainari's story quest. And Karkata's still here. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect that. That's gonna be another sad ending. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.